37 units? We appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And we consider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always out on My this figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Set the for the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic mo- Guys! Let's just. hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all who go after it. Skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death! Out of the question. Well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Oh, weather? Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. 
He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Of course. It had to be raining. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Ah. Ew. Ah. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch. We got this. The snow fall and we'll be fine. Breathe. Let's face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not that <laughs> That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! I thought you lived for danger! Keyword live! Yo, well, fortress is this way! Of course he knows we're on the clock! Three cycles! It's called scouting, okay? Yeah. Gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance shoot. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. Bit. What? It's not alone. Get ready. Just brought in men. 
them open. I don't think it will matter. It's the spikes and stuff. Watch it! Spikes! Rex, toss it! Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They're food. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. There's a trail going through the jungle! Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. Skills again, Rocket. What's a resistance ship doing all the way out here anyway? All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws inside the tracks, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. This is further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. What are you firing at, you Quill? Did you see a monster? No. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. I don't know. Rocket, can you take care of those branches? You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Rax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. I'm eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. 
We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's ah! okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. Stuns and jogs! Scut-busting ass blasts. I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I think he's making them up. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free-bagging flarkholes! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Ram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait. stuff... What's <laughs> up, people? Incoming! <laughs> says it ain't. Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, I've not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sekhmarf Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? You can say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Old Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No. I'm just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B. Just. Go. No, you just go. Someone go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. 
fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. Starting to wonder if I could be the one with the fancy fire. All right. That babies are ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Are we sure we want to go back up? Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. First a down resistance ship, now a Novacore one. We're two out of three on Galactic War Bingo. Maybe this was a staging ground for the push against the Shatari. Or maybe it was a bug stronghold and they were shooting these things out of the sky. Hey, Coil, am I giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. You look real good right here. This unit is tremendously heavy. 
What next, Peter Quill? If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we should, uh, you know, lighten their pockets? Groot, is there any way you could bring down that wing? Groot ain't that strong. He says you want something sharp. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! Mm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? Credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that for sure! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Oh, you gotta see this ship! Oh, oh hold, Lady Hellbender's wrath! Slimy! Rack. Even the Chitauri feared uh, him. They didn't fear him back then. You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? You think? Some smack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Flark, flark, flark. Well, Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scud like this. Just, could you, just please look at the wall. Well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA code in the box could be some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. Make it climbable. 
Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. You're working it out. Trust me. You've got to find a way to lock it in place. I, I cannot hold it forever! Why will you not yield? Because it's a Drax. Can you try again? No, I can't do Scott from outside the Come to me, English machine! I have been best with you. Drax, can you try again? Your quill. Use your weapons to I did it! Impressive, you quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. ships again. It'll be too soon. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Come on, Quill. Let me get a look at them guns. No. You're not tinkering with my only means of defense. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Rocket. I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello? Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms? But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these buck bombers. Fine! Oh, what reeks in here? That... Oh, Scott. Ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Fuck it. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Fuck it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go. You must have jump-started the thing. Rocky, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And dry now, too! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Oh, man. Another murder... the bridge always on the wrong side. I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's gotta be another way across. We'll just look around. Maybe help that not make that. She would have laid over the ravine and let it walk cross on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. That is disturbingly fragrant. After you. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. 
Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Later. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got to work food. on your taste. Buzz. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into buzz. that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. The more things we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. The only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. So well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is leaving. like this just to make it interesting. They are no match for these blades, Peter Quill. Guys, guys! These creeps ain't gonna win against us. We're wanted men. The assassin rodent and tree may well be criminals, but I have served my time. I, I meant we're renegades. We roll the dice because we're not afraid. So what do you say we put those losers out there in the ground? Who's with me? I suspect you so much leader. for smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Group says we can check things out over here. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. is rarely worth the effort.
tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. I agree with Groot. It's important to stay hydrated. Not this hydrated. Top 10 fortresses. 